What's going on, good people? Back again, like we never left. It's been a while. So today I wanted to react to Fantasia because I've yet to react to Fantasia on the channel. I've yet to talk about Tasia. I've yet to talk about Tasia by herself. Tasia by herself. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. So today I wanted to react to Tasia doing a medley of all medleys. At least a Tasia medley. You know, on the time, I don't know what this was, time 100 situation, concert, nope, it was the gala, time 100 gala, 2024, all right? So we're gonna get into it. I may pause, I may not pause, but you know, pausing is not your thing, you can go to another video. If pausing is your thing, stay with me, let's rock, let's go. This is Fantasia Burrito. Here we go, y'all. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Come on, Tasia, so bring us back. There's a pain to you walk in my direction and go yeah. I stop to start up on the street Just to stand when my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Got me staring out the window Just wanna stop for a sign See what's the reason why I want to talk real quick about this. I love it, I love it, yeah. Like, Taja, what? Hey, baby, yeah. Like, I need that. And even then, yeah, oh, you know. Dang, I would have forgot what I, it was a part on here that I don't remember I want to talk about, but. 11, 11, yeah. Like, come on, forward placement. You better sing, Taser. You can't do that to us. You can't give us the oh, hand of Rio. Like, no, we need a whole, you need the whole, free yourself has to be a whole moment. Now, she did give us a moment. What we needed was at least three minutes of free yourself by, by itself. She, she gave us, she, she gave us, but as you can clearly tell, we needed, we needed so much more. Let me talk about that real quick. Get down, if you down, if you down, if you down. That was so smooth. That was so smooth. That was so, so, so smooth. So, so, so smooth. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't. Y'all, like, for my Tasia heads, y'all know that's the song. That is the song. She like, ah. I'm on the time crunch and she's going to the next song. But it's just like, you can't, you can't just, you can't do us like this. You can't do us like this. We need more. We need more. Just. Her music is so timeless. So when I hear these songs, it's just like, it puts you right in the feels immediately. It's crazy. But let's go to the last song. Let's do it. Have you ever needed someone so bad? Come on now. But they ain't willing to make it last. Sometimes you gotta lose. Woo! But you will win again. And it makes you cry. Right. You can't get no sleep at night, at night, at night. 
Damn, that climb was nasty. That climb was nasty. That climb was nasty. Let's go back. Let's go back. We gotta go back. That climb was nasty. That at night, that at night, come on now. Huh? I get into it like that was so good it was so good it was so good it was so good that win again like she really took us to church which is why she had the choir but lose to win everybody knows lose to win is just a bop like lose to win is a bop and like you know everybody's gospelizing it now which i'm here for because it's like have you ever needed someone so that they don't make a Sometimes you gotta lose and win again. You know, and she went straight into the you will win again. Like I love how she flipped it this time. <laughs> you can't get no sleep I love like for three minutes and 14 seconds to give us three songs, three hits, three hits and really take us there and even brought us to church. And then what I realized too in listening to it, I love the progression of the storyline because right like so like when I see you, I put your picture on the mirror and right? start to blush when somebody says your net. You know, it's like I'm infatuated with you. I'm shy. I want to get to know you. I want to be connected to you. Then by the time we get to free yourself, it's like you realize that what you thought you wanted wasn't good for you. And you realize that the relationship that you had been admiring and had been fantasizing about is actually very toxic to you. But you're trying to hold on and you're trying to make it work. But they're showing you that their intentions are not good and that they don't care for you like you thought you you thought they would in the beginning. So the, the, the ideology that you had from uh, when I saw you originally, you know, I started to go the other way. Then I made a decision. I'm going to face my fears and I'm going to talk to you. And I want us to be in a relationship. Now you're in a relationship on free yourself and you're not giving me no, you're not trying to make it work. You're not <laughs> trying to help me. You, you, know, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just going two separate ways, you know? So then by the time we get to lose to win, it's like, you know, like, that whole intro, that whole intro, like you really have to let go. If you want to win again, cause you will win again, you have to lose to win, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. They're not willing to make it last. They're not willing to fight for you. They're not willing to meet you in the middle. They're not willing to work with you. If they're not willing to work with you, then you gotta let them go. You gotta forgive and let them go. Let them go, free yourself, let them go because you will win again. And you cannot receive with closed hands. You just cannot. I can't put nothing in these hands if these hands are full. You see what I'm saying? I can't re I, I can't receive nothing because my hands is full. But the moment I do what? Let go. The moment I let go, my hands are now open and ready to receive something. You know, something can be placed in my hand. But if I'm trying to hold on to these persons and these people and I'm not willing to let them go, then how can God or anybody else for that matter give me something or someone that will be a benefit to me and not a detriment to me? Huh? How can I receive a fountain instead of a drain? I cannot until I do one thing, let go. Let gravity do its thing and I open myself up to receive what God has for me next. And some some of us, you know, it's like some of us, I don't even know how I'm here, but some of us, it's like you got to let go of people that are just taking up space in your life. And you're wondering like, why am I not, uh, uh, why am I around so many, why is my community like this? Like I want better for myself. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you're the better person out of the friend group. Maybe you're aspiring to have um, different 
friends or, or a better community or more like-minded people i'll say it that way that are around you and you're surrounded by people that are like now i'm not gonna say lesser than but are just a different frequency on a different way than you are you know what i'm saying you gotta let go you gotta lose to win and let god help you because when you let go and when you surrender it becomes it becomes a, a game of surrender you understand what i'm saying jesus said this matthew 11 20 come to me all ye who are heavy laden all me who, who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest for your weary souls. He said, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. If you come to Jesus and you are fatigued and you are wounded and you are uh, um, just tired and exhausted, you know, from trying to carry your friend, you're just tired and you're weary, you know, from just being um, strong for everybody, or you're just, you just want some companionship. You just want somebody to rock with you. You want somebody to cover you. You want somebody to love you. Affirm. If you just come to Jesus and give him that desire, the people that Jesus can give you, the friends that Jesus could give you, the romantic interest that Jesus can give you and supply you with will far, 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 far bypass everything you've ever known and have experienced and it will blow your mind continuously. It will supersede anything you've ever thought or imagined because that is the nature of Jesus. Jesus only specializes in multiplication. And even in, in uh, I believe it's John 15, is it John 15? Where Jesus speaks about pruning. You know, and he says, I am divine and you are the branches. You know, as long as you abide in me, you'll be able to bear much fruit. But apart from me, you will bear nothing. And even Jesus goes on to say that the father, the vine dresser, he always prunes the branches. And why does he prune the branches? He prunes the branches so that they can produce more fruit. You know, you think you're producing fruit now, but it's just like you might get cut. You're going to get cut either way. If you're if you're not producing fruit, you're going to get cut. And you're gonna be thrown into the lake of fire. But if you are producing for you, still gonna get cut. Why are you getting cut? You're getting cut so you could grow. You're getting cut so you could be expanded. You're getting cut so that you have greater capacity to receive that which the Lord is trying to do through you, in you, place around you, and just supply you with everything that you need for you to flourish and to thrive. And so that's why if I just say sometimes you gotta lose to win again, because you gotta lose. You gotta get cut. You got to get cut sometime. We don't like going under the knife. That's the problem. Sometimes we got to get cut. And the only way for us to get better and to get the help that we need, sometimes you need surgery. You might need an emotional surgery where you get, Jesus got to crack open your chest cavity, expose your heart, and give you a heart transplant. Maybe your heart has become rugged and rigid and calloused and dead and hardened. Ezekiel 36 and 26 speaks about exchanging the hardened heart for a heart of flesh and God giving you the right spirit. You're like you, we, we, we really need God to give us the right spirit and put it down on the inside side of us and that is why sometimes we have to lose to win so when i graduate from you know having this idea in my mind of i like this person i want to be connected to this person and i get in that relationship and i realize this person is not really for me or i get in this friend group and i realize this friend group is not really for me or i realize that someone is secretly sabotaging me but i'm still trying to hold on because of familiarity and i fear more than likely because i'm afraid to start over or i i don't want to uh, be alone you know those are real things I have to realize and come to a place of surrender within myself and recognize that what God has for me is for me and oftentimes what that is is better the scripture even says if you look at them in Hebrew um, in Isaiah 55 and 8 it says his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways when you look it up one of the Hebrew words I remember when I looked it up one time um, in the concordance it said that his courses of action and his paths are not our paths. So God's courses of action for getting us from point A to B far excel and exceed our own. So you might be thinking, like, I'm just gonna catch the train from here to here, but you don't even know that God about to get you a new car and get you a new job to be able to afford the car so you could get there from point A to point B. Or you don't even know that you about to catch a flight from A to B and that God is sending you someone that has free tickets that they're gonna give to you and that you're having all paid for hotel or situation where God's gonna hook it. You don't even know how the Lord is gonna hook it up, but God's gonna hook it up in such a way you will be like, Dang, I didn't even expect that or I didn't even see that coming. But that's just the nature of our God. That's just the nature of Jesus, the one and true living God. That's all I have to say. Like, like sometimes you really do have to lose to win. Why do you have to lose to win? Because in order for you to become better, you got to go through suffering. If you don't go through discipline, you won't get stronger. If you don't go through resistance, you won't build your stamina. You won't build your endurance. You won't build your muscle and your strength. And so that requires you to go through trials and tribulation. One, because it reveals your heart posture. One, it reveals what you believe about God, about yourself. It exposes your fears. It exposes your unbelief. But it also pushes you closer into faith. It pushes you closer into the Lord if you allow it to push you closer into the Lord. And it really 
really will expose, it really will equip, it really will empower and do so much, 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 much more, so much more. So sometimes you gotta lose to win, I'm off my box, but really though, I really appreciate that. And like Tasia, the whole time, let me get, let me get into the uh, phrasing and just everything, like, I love it. Have you ever, that she really told the story, just real chill. And I'm still on the, if you know, and if you know, and if you know, and if you know, like, with the music going, and, uh, even though, like, you know, like, we heard that song so many times, the ad-libs are stuck in your mind, so you almost have, like, a low-key expectation for her to do the same ad libs live, but she switched it up. Like even instead of the yeah 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 on the uh, what's that one for, for yourself? I think she did the yeah 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 yeah, and she did was the yeah yeah yeah. You know she gave us like. That pull instead of the what we're accustomed to from the track but it's still so good but three minutes and 14 seconds that is a record it is a record tasia go off go off tasia huh we're here for it as i always like to say if you got another video you want me to react to comment below i'll get to it as soon as i can and as i like to say frequently on this channel you should know don't get better because life does get better. With Jesus, life gets better. I tell you that all the time. As much as I'm able to, I tell you. Life gets better with Jesus. He makes my life living worth because he lived. That's a him. That's a him. But it's true. It's nothing but truth. And that's what I'm finding in this season and in this hour. Um, so, yeah. I just pray that the Lord will continue to help you. I pray that the Lord will continue to um, circumcise those of you that need to be circumcised. I mean me in your flesh. I mean in your heart. In your mind. Whatever um toxic ideologies mindsets friend groups soul ties i pray that the lord would sever them now in the name of jesus and break it off of you and i pray that the lord would begin to pull you into destiny pull you into purpose pull you into divine uh, relationships and connections that will continue to um, set you on the path to success and the path of life for jesus said in john chapter 10 and 10 that I have come, that they may have life and have it all the more what for people that know and even don't know, have it all the more abundantly. You know, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you may have life and have life more abundantly. So that's really one of the things that Jesus came for. Jesus came for not only your sins, but Jesus came to give us abundant life, eternal life, and reconcile us to the Lord from judgment, but he came to give us abundance. And so if you're not experiencing abundance, you need to reconnect with Jesus. That's just what it is. You just really need to reconnect with Jesus. And I love the freedom. I feel like there's a freedom here and a grace here that is doing something new. And I'm excited for what's about to happen with the channel. I don't know what I'm about to do. I've really been debating, like, am I going to rebrand? Am I going to do something new? But I just feel like the Lord is doing an expansion. Even this moment as I'm just kind of just sharing my heart and what stood out to me here. And even, like, I love, like, the segues between scripture and just candid conversation. You know what I mean? And so I just really appreciate that. So... Like I said, Tasia knows what to do. She's going to give it to us every single time. And I am here for it. Here for it.